हेलो एवरीवन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी गो विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर स्ट्रेट लाइन इन दैट वी सी हाउ टू फाइंड द स्लोप ऑफ गिवन लाइन If theta is the acute angle between the line and the x-axis, then by using tan theta, I repeat again, by using tan theta, we find slope of the line. Okay. In today's lecture, we go with the next part in this chapter, and is your angle between the intersecting lines. okay so in this part we have to consider the intersecting lines let us consider here slope of the given lines let here slope of first line is m1 and slope of second line is m2 and if these two lines are intersecting these two lines are intersecting then your angle in between these two lines is find by using here tan theta is equal to inside the mod your m1 minus m2 this divided by 1 plus m1 m2 so by using this formula we find the angle in between these two lines angle in between two lines okay so very interesting concept it is in today's lecture we go with uh, this part and examples depending on this formula okay so here we go with directly go with our examples here in first example we consider find the acute angle find the acute angle acute angle between lines between lines having slopes slopes 3 and minus 2 okay so very interesting example it is here given slope of the lines let us consider slope of first line is m1 and slope of second line is m2 okay so here given given m1 is equal to 3 and m2 is equal to minus 2 here we know uh, theta is the angle in between these two lines okay let's define theta let theta be the acute angle acute angle between two intersecting lines two intersecting lines okay therefore here tan theta is equal to inside the mod here m1 minus m2 this divided by 1 plus m1 m2 so we use this formula to find the acute angle okay here we define m1 is the slope of first line and m m2 is the slope of second line l2 okay so here i write tan theta this is equal to inside the mod we know m1 is 3 then minus your m2 is a minus 2 then this divided by your 1 plus again m1 is 3 and m2 is a minus 2 now this is equal to here inside the mod here we know minus of minus is a plus and 3 plus 2 is a 5 and this whole divided by here again 1 plus 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 so here we get 1 minus 6 in denominator okay therefore here tan theta is equal to here inside the mod 
फाइव अपॉन वी नो वन माइनस सिक्स इज माइनस फाइव नाउ दिस इज इक्वल टू यर इन साइड द मॉड We know five upon minus five is a minus one, and this is equal to plus one. We know modulus of your minus one is a one. Okay, so this is equal to your tan of pi by four. We know here one is the value of tan pi by four. Since in LHS trigonometric function tan is a given, so we define this one by using the trigonometric function tan. Okay, so here we get tan theta is equal to tan pi by four. If we compare these two sides, here we get theta is equal to pi by four. okay so here theta is the or here pi by 4 is the acute angle in between given two lines okay therefore pi by 4 is acute angle acute angle between two lines between given two lines okay so very simple example it is directly by using the formula here tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 we find the acute angle okay let's go with our second example okay here in second given if the angle between if the angle between two lines is a 45 degree and the slope of one of the lines is a 1 upon 2 find the slope of the slope of other line other line okay again very simple example it is uh, directly by using the uh, formula of this tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 we find slope of second line that is we find here m2 okay uh, let's define or we consider given things first here in solution given theta is equal to 45 degree since angle between given two lines is of 45 degree then here slope of first line let here m1 is the slope of given line okay so m1 is equal to 1 upon 2 and we have to find this m2 okay now here we know we know if theta is the acute angle acute angle between between two intersecting lines between two intersecting lines then here tan theta is equal to inside the mod m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 okay so here we replace theta by using 45 degree and m1 by using 1 upon 2 okay so here i write tan of 45 degree this is equal to inside the mod we know m1 is 1 upon 2 minus we keep m2 as it is this divided by here 1 plus again m1 is 1 upon 2 into m2 okay here we know tan 45 degree is always 1 is always 1 so here 1 is equal to inside the mod here we know 1 upon 2 minus m2 is here 1 minus 2 m2 this whole divided by 
then in denominator here 1 plus 1 upon 2 m2 is here 2 plus m2 and this whole divided by 2 okay now here 2 and 2 cancel here only remains 1 is equal to inside the mod 1 minus 2 m2 this divided by 2 plus m2 okay now here uh, we get uh, two values since here mod is given we consider value for this is a plus one and minus one so here one minus two m2 this divided by two plus m2 is equal to one or here 1 minus 2 m2 this divided by 2 plus m2 is equal to minus 1. After solving this part here we get 1 minus 2 m2 is equal to 2 plus m2. Okay. Then here I write this minus 2 m2 in opposite side as a plus 2 m2. Okay. And this 2 and this 2 from RHS in LHS as minus 2. So, 1 minus 2 is equal to twice M2 plus M2. Here we know 1 minus 2 is a minus 1 and is equal to we know 2 M2 plus M2 is a 3 M2. And lastly, here we get M2 is equal to minus 1 upon 3. Then for second part here we solve this part we get 1 minus 2 m2 is equal to uh, minus 1 into 2 plus m2. Let's multiply this bracket by minus 1 then here 1 minus 2 m2 as it is then minus 2 minus 2 m2. Okay uh, now here uh, this minus 2 m2. I, we write this in RHS as a plus 2 M2 and I write this minus 2 in LHS as a plus 2. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 M2 uh, plus 2 M2. Then, here uh, minus 2 M2 is given. Okay. So, here minus 2 M2. Let's check this part. Here 1 minus 2 m2 is given this divided by 2 plus m2 is equal to minus 1. So I write this 1 minus 2 m2 is equal to minus 1 into this bracket. Okay. Then 1 minus 2 m2 is equal to minus 2 minus here we have minus 1 m2. Since we multiply this bracket by minus 1 here, here I write minus 1 okay so here we have a uh, 2m2 then minus m2 next here 1 plus 2 is 3 is equal to 2m2 minus m2 is only m2 and we get here m2 is equal to 3 here we get two values of uh, m2 first is minus 1 upon 3 and second is 3 so, this is the possible slope of the second line. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we see two examples to define the angle between the uh, two intersecting lines. Now, in today's lecture, we go with our next important part in this chapter. And in that, we consider equation of line in standard forms equation of line in standard forms okay so here equation of line in standard forms okay so in today's lecture we go with the standard form related with the coordinate axis okay equation of line on uh, the coordinate axis and equation of a line which is a parallel to the coordinate axis in today's lecture we define these two concept okay so we go with our first concept 
here we consider coordinate axis coordinate axis that is we find equation of line which is on the coordinate axis okay so here remember here remember one part here equation of the x axis that is if the line is on the x axis then the uh, equation of x axis is always y is equal to 0 so here in the first the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 here y is the or this y coordinate is the uh, is for the point which is on the x axis okay then in second we define the equation of y axis that is if our line is uh, lies on the y axis then equation for the y axis is always your x is equal to 0 the equation of y axis is your x is equal to 0 so remember these two standard equations or these two standard forms of equation of lines i repeat again uh, here equation of uh, x axis is always y is equal to 0 then equation of y axis is always your x is equal to 0 so uh, these are the standard forms related with the coordinate axis now we go with our next part in that we consider the equation of line which is parallel to the uh, coordinate axis okay equation of line line parallel to coordinate axis coordinate axis very important part it is okay so uh, here to define the equations we consider one figure that is we consider the coordinate axis to define the equation so here uh, we consider x and y axis This is our x axis here is y axis here origin is at o okay so by using the same figure we define the equation of line which is parallel to the coordinate axis okay uh, firstly here we consider first line okay suppose here our first point is on x axis suppose our point is here this is point x sorry suppose we consider this point as a and having coordinates a zero let us consider one line which passing through the point a which passing through the point a okay so we draw one line which is parallel uh, which is passing through the point a and uh, parallel to the y axis parallel to y axis remember this line is a parallel to y axis and passing through the point a of uh, a0 so uh, here we know distance of uh, this point from the y axis here is a this distance is a so equation for this line is x is equal to a equation for this line is x is equal to a remember your x is equal to a is always parallel to y axis now we go with our uh, left hand side of this y axis suppose uh, here is our point uh, b and is having coordinates here minus a zero suppose our line passing through the point b and parallel to y axis 
and parallel to y axis like this okay here we know distance of this point from the origin here is a this distance is a so here equation of this line passing through the point b and parallel to y axis is always here x is equal to minus a is always x is equal to minus a so remember this part then here uh, we go with our next figure in that we define the equation of line which is parallel to x axis here we consider coordinate axis again okay this is our x axis here is our y axis origin is at o now here we consider one point which is on y axis suppose here is our point c and having coordinates here 0 uh, b 0 b suppose uh, our line passing through the point c and parallel to x axis like this Okay, so equation for this line passing through the point C and parallel to the x axis is always here y is equal to b. Is always y is equal to b. Then for the opposite part, let's define our next point D and is having coordinates here 0 minus b. Okay, suppose our line passing through the point d like this and this line is a parallel to x axis this line is parallel to x axis okay uh, then your equation for this line is y is equal to minus b so here we define the equation of lines which is parallel to the coordinate axis here for uh, uh, our line which is parallel to y axis is x is equal to a then if our line passing through the point b and parallel to y axis is x is equal to minus a then here equation of a line which is passing through the point c and parallel to x axis is y is equal to b and in last here equation of line passing through the point d and parallel to x axis is always y is equal to minus b okay so remember these equations these equations are very important and we define uh, these equations by using the coordinate axis uh, let us see some important examples related with this part example first write down the equation of line write down the equation of line equation of line parallel to x axis parallel to x axis and at a distance of at a distance of five units from it from it and above it and above it okay here in this example we have to find equation of line and to find this condition is given our line is parallel to x axis and which is at a distance of five unit from the given axis and above it okay uh, let's define this part by using the figure this is our x axis here is our y axis here given uh, 
one point which is at a distance of five unit which is at a distance of five unit okay so here is our point a and have is and having coordinates 0 5 okay suppose our line is uh, passing through the point a and parallel to x axis like this our line is parallel to x axis we know this distance is a five unit here distance is given and this distance is five unit so here uh, equation for this line l1 here equation for this line l1 here is y is equal to 5 since this point is on y axis okay so uh, here we define equation of line by using the y coordinate and is y is equal to 5 so here here I write here equation of equation of line is y is equal to 5 here is y is equal to 5 now we go with our second example second example here given equation of line parallel to y axis find equation of line parallel to y axis parallel to y axis and at a distance of distance of five units five units from it and left of it left side of it left side of it okay so again uh, uh, our first example like our first example uh, we find our equation of line again we use one figure to define the equation okay again we consider the coordinate axis like this x axis here is y axis okay origin is at o here given uh, our required line is parallel to y axis okay and given at a distance of five unit from left from left means here suppose this is our point b and as the having coordinates minus five zero our required line is passing through the point B and parallel to Y axis like this. Parallel to Y axis. Suppose this line is L1. This is our line L1. And we have to find equation for this line. So here uh, our point is on X axis. Here point is on X axis. Okay. So here equation is equation of line is line is here x is equal to minus 5 here is x is equal to minus 5 so remember this part let us see one more example to define uh, the equation of line okay so here in third given find equation of line equation of line parallel to x axis parallel to x axis and making an intercept and making an intercept making an intercept of three units of three units 
on the y-axis on the y-axis okay here again we use one figure to define our equation okay so here for solution we consider x and y axis again suppose this is our x axis here is our y axis okay x axis here is y axis uh, we have to find equation of the line which is parallel to x axis okay and making of intercept of three units three units so here is our point c here having coordinates 0 3 here given y intercept so we define uh, point c by using this condition and c is having coordinates 0 3 our line passing through the point c like this like this okay and uh, suppose this is our line l1 we have to find uh, the equation of this line okay since this point is on y axis since this point is on y axis uh, here equation for the required line is the y is equal to 3 so here equation of line is y is equal to 3 here is y is equal to 3 so in today's lecture we go with the concept Firstly, here we find angle in between uh, the two intersecting lines. Then uh, we see the equation of a line which is on coordinate axis. Then we go with the part uh, here if we find equation of a line which is parallel to the coordinate axis. And we see some important examples related with this part. Thank you.